In this video, we will use Vim to write a line of text and save to a file. These are the steps we are going to follow. I'll show you a demo and then explain what each of these steps are doing. If you prefer terminal, you can use Vim. If you prefer GUI, you can use GVim. So first type Vim and then you can give a file name. So this is a TUI which opens within the terminal itself. You can see the name of the file we have given and some more details are there. So first I am going to press I and then I am going to type the line of text I wanted to type. I am going to press escape and then colon key followed by W Q and finally enter key. Let us see if the line of text we wrote is saved or not. So cat and the file name. Yes, the line we wrote is present in this particular file. So we have successfully used Vim to open a new file, write something and save it. Let us see what each of these steps did. Vim followed by file name will open that particular file. If it does not exist, a new file is created. This is optional. When you use just Vim, a empty buffer will be opened. When you are saving, you can specify a new file to save. After opening, the very first thing we did was type I. What you need to know is Vim is a modal editor. You have to be aware which mode you are in and then use commands or type text accordingly. When Vim is first launched, it opens in normal mode. Normal mode is primarily used for editing and moving around. When you press the I key, it is one of the ways to enter insert mode. In insert mode, you type the text and then after you have entered all the text you want, our next goal is to save the file. So to do so, you have to go back to normal mode first. For that, we press the escape key. And then to save the file, you have to go to yet another mode. Pressing the colon key brings up command line mode, which awaits for further commands. W followed by Q is a combination of write and quit commands. When you press the enter key, it completes the command you have typed. So WQ will write and quit. And then we used cat command to check whether the line we have typed is saved or not. Let me show the demo again. I'm going to type another file name. So the file name is shown here and this is a new file. By default it opens in normal mode. Pressing I is one of the ways to enter insert mode. And then you type something. Once you have typed, you have to press escape key to go back to normal mode. To save you need to use command line mode. So to do so first you have to use colon key. The cursor goes to the last line. So this is the command line area. And then you have to specify the commands you need to execute. So we are going to use W which is for write. Q for quit. So after writing we want to quit Vim. And let us check whether the lines were saved. So you can see the lines are present here. Repeat this procedure a few times to get used to opening Vim, going to insert mode, typing text, going back to normal mode by pressing escape key, pressing colon followed by some commands and then enter key to use command line mode. 
Hope you enjoyed this video.